Hey, peeps, and welcome back to the monarchy. Oh, there's a saber outside. There's actually a lot of dangerous things outside. I think there's also an entire Daedon pack, so that's uh, going to be something we have to deal with. But yes, peeps, welcome back. I uh, Yeah, I don't think you peeps saw me build this. This is my little kind of emergency hut that I have. I built at the very end of the last episode, I guess uh, after the last episode, to hide all of my creatures from the various evil things that exist in the desert. And I'm sure you peeps will notice that we have some uh, some more creatures than we left off with in the last episode. And that's because quite a bit happened between this episode and the last. So let's go ahead and go into that. First things first, Megatheriums. Just, they're they're so cool, right? A Megatherium came and enraged on, I think, a Lymantria or ants. And it just happened to be next to my base and it wiped out almost everything. The only thing that survived was our max level direwolf, who I have named Candy Cane. And that was by the skin of her teeth. We barely got Candy Cane out of there alive. So again, we had a, a lot of our progress reset. So I once again set out on foot to try to find another scorpion. The reason I went out on foot is because I really didn't want to risk Candy Cane dying to like Microraptor or Prolovia or any other kind of lag situations because I, I really want this max level wolf to be able to breed more wolves. And speaking of max levels, as you can see, we found a max level scorpion. This was actually the first scorpion I found, so I was really excited to knock it out and get it tamed. And the taming went relatively smoothly. Thankfully, it can be knocked out with stones shot from a slingshot. So we got it tamed up and I began to go search for a wolf. I did find a wolf and unfortunately I also was found by a Perlovia, which stunned me off. And then, you know, I got tag teamed by the Perlo and the wolf. And uh, shockingly we survived that, but then later died to a Daedon, which I didn't record. It happened just so insanely quickly so yeah there goes our 150 scorpion very nice but thankfully after honestly a lot more searching i spawned right next to a 135 and 130 breeding pair of scorpions so we went ahead and tamed them up i used the uh, i think i had the 135 to tame the 130 and i made them lay an egg right then and there to bring it back to base and thankfully the journey back to base was pretty simple i died right as we got back to base because superheats are just such a fun fun game mechanic but the important thing is we now have two scorpions so again i set out on foot and eventually i found this 135 wolf fighting a vulture and i wasn't sure who was going to win but the wolf eventually did win out so i bulleted it and trapped it and unfortunately it was pretty hurt from that fight so i did just kind of burn a lot of time waiting for it to naturally heal i also did manage to find i think it was three crystal from a green drop so we finally now have a spyglass but unfortunately the uh the sloth ptsd hit again as this big blue boy was right next to my base and unfortunately it's baby bug aggroed on my scorpion which then bug aggroed the mother and uh yeah i was able to whistle away our brand new wolf so he survived but our scorpion did not so we lost one of the scorpions i really hate megatheriums they're they're so annoying but uh yeah so i was able to lure the sloth away after that but yeah losing one of the scorpions sucked thankfully we had the other one and we also had that scorpion egg so eventually when night fell again it was cold enough for the egg to hatch and we got lucky enough to have twins which i was really excited about but unfortunately at the, at this time it was about 5 a.m and uh, i i wanted to sleep so i hatched the babies i filled them i think with like 150 meat each and then i went to bed and obviously i don't have two scorpions so they must have starved to death last night so that sucks we only have one scorpion so we need to guard this uh this lady with our lives i'm, I'm just so sad that that one died all right but uh yeah peeps what are we doing today today we are finally going to our base location oh please please dude why is mounting things in this game so buggy but there we go. So yeah, today we're finally going to our permanent, well, not maybe not permanent. I might move again later in the series, but our our starter base location, because uh, 
It's it's technically illegal for me to be building here. I'm not allowed to really uh, be here, but I also did breed some wolves, so that's why we have a whole bunch of wolves. So we're going to be using some of the wolves to run out and, and hopefully make it to our base location. We don't really need to fight anything. Hopefully we don't get purloed. I'm literally just going to level health, maybe a little bit of weight on this wolf because this is not a combat wolf. All right, uh, yeah, so let's get running. Actually, let me show you guys where I, I kind of want to base at, and it's over here. I've marked it on the map. There's this nice little plateau here, which I want to check out. It's it's pretty easily accessible. There's a, a land ramp up here and then a bridge here, so we can easily block off these entrances and have a really safely guarded location. It's next to a bunch of water, which is really nice, and it's also kind of right in the center here, so we'll possibly see a lot of monarch activity to get that community interaction going and thankfully we'll be able to maybe lure away all these guys away from my base yeah so the only real threat to us on a wolf is a micro raptor and a perlovia because we can outrun everything else but if we get stunned then we're pretty screwed right and that's the main reason why i wasn't taking my max level candy cane wolf out Ooh, whoa the lag but yeah that's the main reason i wasn't taking candy cane out to look for other scorpions or other wolves even because i was just so scared that one micro raptor would make us literally lose everything so yep yeah, let's go ahead go on over to the potential base location hopefully it's not taken and i will see you peeps there Alrighty, peeps we're coming up on it i didn't see any structures up here while we were uh Ooh, hold on there's a wolf are you a potentially high level uh level 45 not interested but yeah, i didn't see any structures up here as we were running so i think that's a good sign and oh, oh there's someone up there but this is it and yep no structures and i believe that is yeah that building is so far away right there all right let's see how close can i get before uh, it gives me the, the the structures nearby can't build oh wow okay so yeah building over here is not going to be a problem at all yeah like right there actually who uh whose base even is this and jump there we go all right hello hello can anyone hear me the tribe of tortoise. Is any of this unlocked? No. Ooh, <gasps> free water. Don't mind if I do. All right, but yeah, peeps, I guess uh, I guess we could start building up here now. Tribe of tortoise. Is there anyone in here sleeping? Doesn't look like it. All right, well, I guess uh, we'll have to find out who our neighbors are later. Or maybe, or maybe we should build over there. No, probably not, because there's thorny dragons over there. I don't think anything really spawns up here at least i mean there's nothing right now so that's a good sign yeah all we would have to do is build a wall here get some property lines going with our neighbor and then build a wall over here on uh yeah on this ramp maybe yeah maybe starting right here and then going this way oh man i should uh, i should probably invest in spike walls next time we get some more coins all right i am gonna go ahead and kill this dire wolf. He seems very low level. I probably didn't even need to bowl of him. But uh, I want to take no risks. No risks today, peeps. Well, I mean, there's going to be risks. <laughs> I can't say that there's no risks. But, uh, I mean, should I just start building now? Really? I don't see why not. I would actually, I would love to get an iguanodon today. I haven't even seen an iguanodon, but I think they spawn near the obelisks. But oh, that would mean I would have to get a scorpion all the way over to one of them. And um, yeah, traveling with a scorpion is not super viable. All right, well, anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and start building here. We don't really have much building pieces, but as long as we can get a nice little box going, that's what I'll care about. We can, we can set up a pretty primitive wall with just, you know, actual walls and the wall foundations. And yeah, I, I, I just, I just want to get an actual base going. Alrighty, peeps. I am pretty happy with how things are going over here. We have our little tiny uh, base here. I was going to build more, but then I saw Fat Dog's house over here, and he's got Adobe. And uh, I, interestingly enough, there is a super heat going on right now, and we're not dying, but it is also pretty late into the day, so I think that's just good timing 
on our part. I, yeah, I really want Adobe. I think before we build anything major, we should get Adobe because even wooden structures, if I were to enter this, I will start overheating or, or not. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it just had to go away and then come back. But yeah, so if I want to actually be able to live in a base, it needs to be Adobe. So I think the game plan now is going to be to one, finish taming this scorpion over here because check this out, peeps. I did go ahead and build the little wall. It is, you know, very little. I went ahead and left these two. These are the doors. These are both unlocked because I don't want to block any uh, any monarchs from getting up this footpath because I'm not sure if that path is the only way that this monarch can get to their base. So I, I don't want to lock them out of that. So I'm leaving those unlocked. And yeah, we have a little scorpion friend right here. He's only level 55, nothing too crazy. But any scorpion over here is a scorpion that I don't have to bring from somewhere else, right? So level 55 will trank out anything as well as a max level will as long as the thing is trapped. Anyway, so I am fine with having a lowish level scorpion here. But yeah, so I think once the scorpion tames, we're gonna head on over back to the saloon and see if we can complete any quests. I believe I, I might be one of the only monarchs with scorpions, like with a, with a scorpion taming license. So there is that one quest to bring a whole bunch of tames to the saloon. So I wonder if I could ask everyone if they're ready to turn that in, because that would be a decent amount of coinage if we could do that. But uh, yeah, I, I guess I will see you peeps in a little bit. And here we are at the salute. Let's go ahead and park Leggy here and go check out the quest. So I believe these are group quests. Yes, okay, so this is an easy quest. This is a hard quest. And this is, I think, a medium quest because, you know, easy is green, hard is red, medium is, uh, is I guess, orange. And then these should be, yeah, these are contests. And on this side, we should have solo quests and then filler quests over here. Okay, so I guess let's start with the group quest because I wanna see if there's still room on the taming one. Oh, perfect, there's one slot. All right, I need to come back with my quest tokens. Yeah, so tame a mate boosted pair of the following. Raptors, wolves, pegos, thorny dragons, sabers, and scorpions. We have wolves and scorpions. I and like I said, I think I'm one of the only people to have scorpions. So I definitely want to take this last slot here, and then we're gonna need to bring two scorpions over. And how how many? Okay, so we need three quest tokens to activate this one, but this will give us 300 coins, which is pretty. Major, are there any other ones that I would like to do? We could do this one. Oh, let's see. If I do this one and this one, that would be four, five, six, seven, which means I can't do that because you only start with six. Oh, that's rough. As for solo quests, this one has been <laughs> completely taken up. I guess a lot of people got Morella Tops taming license because everyone's trying to bring Morella Tops over here. But we have this one, which is to tame a horse. Yeah, level 75 horse at least, and then bring it into the stable. That's not the worst, but I have no way of getting crops right now. And berry taming a level 75 would take a very long time. Oh, a person. Hello. Can you hear me? Who is this? Hello? Oh, duck! Hi. Hi. Oh, How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm looking to see what quests I can complete. Oh, have you picked one yet? Now I'm gonna go pick the the group one to bring creatures over because I think I'm one of the only people that have scorpions. So I'm gonna bring some scorpions over, and then I'm thinking about doing. Uh, I think it's this solo right here. Yeah, with the Jerboa and the Adobe. Heck yeah, the, the Jaboa and the Adobe. That's really easy to do. Yeah, I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't spent any of my quest tokens yet. I'm just over here to see what I want before I risk carrying quest tokens on me. I don't want to lose them. Yeah, I spent my very first ones today as well. Oh, amazing. Yeah, how are you getting on? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I finally just moved to an actual base location. I've been living kind of over there in this small wooden box against a cliff, just scared for my life. Oh, no. It's brutal. Yeah, it really is. But uh, I've been yeah. I've been I've been struggling as best as I can. I 
think a few of us are on that struggle bus. Yeah, I think uh, I think everyone is on the struggle bus. The scorched earth is a lot <laughs> more brutal than I think any of us expected it to be. Yeah, agree the Yeah. All right, Doc. I'm gonna go get my quest tokens. I will see you in the future. Alrighty. Have a good one. I'll catch you soon. All right, you too. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, so here we go. Let's claim our spot. All right, sign up for the quest. Yeah, so now we could be very evil and claim our coins immediately, but I, I won't do that. So now we have three more. That was ha that was literally half of our token. So how I would like this to go in my head, we complete this, get these 300 coins, and then use those 300 coins to unlock Adobe structures to then be able to do this one for another 200 coins. So this one will be two. So now we have one, literally one last quest token, which we can use on a filler quest slot. So let's see, we have, uh, let's get rid of the HUD. Clay, 5,000 stone, uh, 15,000 cementing paste, 15, or oh, 15,000, 1,500. Uh, charcoal? That wouldn't be too bad. But I think the best one to do here would literally just be the stone. <laughs> but man, 5,000 stone. That's a lot of stone. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I don't really have that much of a choice. I guess, you know, charcoal could be done relatively easily. Stone. Oh, wait, no! Nope, someone already has it. It's just dark and I couldn't see. No. All right. Well, I guess uh, I guess it's, uh, it's been decided for us. We're going to go ahead and get a lot of campfires burning, I suppose. All right. Well, um, yeah. So I guess what I should do now is let's go secure these scorpions. I know this area well enough now that I'm pretty confident running over here to the desert where dead meat, I think this is dead meat version two is. And then hopefully we can tame some scorpions here and then bring them over to the saloon. All we really need is a male because I have a female right over here and I seriously doubt we're gonna get the female to survive this trek. So honestly, if we could just get a male, I don't think there's a level requirement. So if we can get a male, we'll just bring it to the saloon. Then we'll grab this one and bring it over. And then our part of that quest will be done. And hopefully, everyone else can bring their things over, and we'll get that eventually. All right, peeps. Female scorpion is taming up. We got a level 50, and there we go. All right, so let's, uh, I guess let's saddle you up. Oh, man, this does look like a really nice scorpion, though. Like, these colors, so vibrant and beautiful. All right, but there we go. Let's saddle you up, and I'm going to have you hide in the ruins over here and there is another male right here are you or is it literally you no, you are a female so let's go ahead and kill you and somewhere around here there is a level 45 male so we'll go ahead and tame that up and then we'll just bring them both back to the saloon and i if if, if that goes well then that is our quest done how did you get so far over here all right, well, a little bit more of a walk for this one, I guess. And we have made it. All we had to do was kill a terror bird and a, uh, just a, a saber. Oh, is that a wild wolf? That is a wild wolf. Hi. Was that inside of the office? Okay. H hello. Yep. Uh-huh. Where's... It was mate boosted. Hold on, is there, is there, there's, there's another wolf inside of the saloon. <laughs> How? Aha. Uh -huh. How did that happen? All right, you, uh, you guys stay there. Um, I don't really want to, I, I mean, I, 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 I should do my duty, right? And protect the saloon. Someone left the door open. Level 35. Hi. Um, I'm going to go ahead and. Just do a bit of this. We're here to do a little bit of pest control. And there it is. All right. <laughs> Did, uh, was that you that let the wolves into the saloon? <laughs> no. No, it wasn't me. Oh, uh, there were just two wolves chilling inside. I wonder how they got there. I have no idea. Anyway, I got my little scorpion dudes. You got the scorpions? Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, like dude, the this one is 
gorgeous. Like the, the green, yeah. the pink. Such a good looking scorpion. I'm sad it's such a low level. I would have kept this for my own collection. Wait, did you just need the one for the quest or have you got to get two? Yeah, uh, there's. I have another one right here. Yeah, you need a. You need a you need a mated pair. Nice. So what do you do? Do you just have to leave him here for Willy? Like how does it I'm I'm gonna leave work? him here because transporting scorpions is one of the worst things in the world. Literally <laughs> everything can catch them, so I'm just gonna chuck him in the barn and and <laughs> wait for my payout. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I think you can claim it anyway, like through the board. I think you can get your gold that way. Yeah, you can, but I think with the group quests, you have to wait till um, everyone is here with their teams. Oh, who else have you got uh, coming? Is it like a scorpion, pego? I think it's all the aggressive creatures. It's a completely full quest board. I, I was literally the last slot. So it's ever literally everything else needs to come, I think. <laughs> I really like this one. It's so pretty. Yeah, it really is. Well, here, actually, here, check this out. Oh, wait, no. I was going to I was going to breed them. And, and get you an egg, but I don't think I'm allowed to do that because they have to be neutered if you give someone a creature. I think, um, I don't know, I may need to check, but I'm pretty sure if someone has the license, it doesn't need to be neutered. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. Well, anyway, look, if I won't tell anyone, uh, you don't have to tell anyone, and you could take the egg of these scorpions when they're done breeding. <laughs> my, my lips are sealed. I, I say nothing. Also, I just need to go get my stuff back. Two seconds. Okay. <laughs> Breaking the law in front of the sheriff's office. Alrighty, peeps. We've got a couple of fires burning. The charcoal is coming along. And uh, I guess while I'm waiting around, let's go and check out our other neighbor, Captain Fat Dog. Alright, so he's got raptors. 204, that's a decent level. Does, does he have any good wolves? Okay, he's got that 224. That's a pretty good one. Got some colorful ones. Let's see, is his base unlocked? Can I say hello? Hello? Oh, it's locked. All right, well, uh, it's interesting that he hasn't built a wall. But, uh, I mean, I guess he doesn't think many creatures will come up here. He peeps think his mailbox is unlocked. It is. Ooh. Oh my god, that's a lot of meat! Um... <laughs> oh, see... See, um... Th th this would really help me! Because I don't currently have this unlocked! Um, and you know... It's in- it's in an unlocked mailbox! Surely, if he didn't want to lose these, he, uh... He would have put them in a secure container, right, Raptor? R right? I'm gonna. I'm just. I'm just gonna take one of each. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, nice, nice, nice base you got there, Fat Dog. No, can't wait to see uh, what it develops into. Uh, I'm glad to be your neighbor. Thank you for the generous donation. <laughs> Look, if he didn't want to lose those, he shouldn't have put them in an unlocked mailbox. That's uh, that's uh, that's his skill issue, right, peeps? All right, so now, and, and yeah, that'll actually help us cook even more. Um, not cementing paste, but uh, what am I trying to say here? Charcoal. Yes, yes. All right, we can we can start getting metal going, which means we can actually get metal tools in this episode because I, for some reason, unlocked metal tools, but I didn't have a fort, so I couldn't actually cook the, the the metal to make the tools. So if we can go find a metal rock, which we should be able to find one right over there, we we can get metal tools now. Oh, dang it, I have to go this way around. Oh, hello, neighbor. Hello. Hello. Oh, the tribe of tortoise, who is this? I've been wondering who you are. Me. How are you? What? Oh my gosh. That rock I over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like struggling. Yeah, uh, do you, do you mind if I build a wall on this little uh this land bridge here? If you can make like a maybe like a little doorway along the wall that I can like like Yeah, I'll actually, if I need to bring dinos through. Uh 
Yeah, I don't have gates, unfortunately. I um, I don't know if you've seen it. I already have a wall on the ramp over here. Uh, does that block you? Yeah. Does this block you? And I, I kind of, um, I, I've been like, I, I only have this wolf and two babies, so the chances that these die are pretty high, which means I'm going to be going around on foot. So. Uh, well, here I'll um. So these two, I've I, I, I've already left these two unlocked. So there's this and this. These are unlocked. Wait, enough for me to get through. No, no, but over here you can. So this one is also a uh, a hidden door. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So, but uh, to get back, oh, whoa, careful. To get back, you need to go through <laughs> this one, and you just have to go around the edge. Okay. Yeah, and this is all this is all unlocked, so you can just walk through with the wolf. To be honest, that will be fine for now. Like, cause uh, like we're not gonna get bigger dinos till next week, at least anyway. So yeah. at that point, if there's like a, a gate, and then maybe we can do like a uh, almost like an airlock, because I am terrible for bringing wild dinos like with me. <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so like maybe eventually we can make like a little airlock. <laughs> yeah, just bolster security. It's grinding. I'm gonna grind out a bit of clay. I'm trying to upgrade to a Dover thing. Yeah, I don't even have a. Do I haven't even completed it. Well, I, I mean, I've technically completed a quest because I brought scorpions over to the saloon, but no one else has brought their creatures, so I can't turn it in yet. So I, I have no coins except for my starting 100. Oh shit! Yeah, I, I have, li I literally spent every single like last one of mine. I have zero right now. Yeah, I have three left, which I can buy absolutely nothing with. <laughs> Alrighty, peeps, we now have metal tools, courtesy to the extreme generosity of Captain Fat Dog. And our, uh, yeah, our collection of charcoal is coming along nicely. Look at that, we already have 1,500 more to go, and we will have completed our first quest. Oh, I'm excited to finally be able to get more coins and unlock oh, just a, a scrap of engram. I think, uh, actually, I don't even really know what I'm going to get. I, I definitely want a crossbow, and I'm debating on unlocking Tranks, because I'm not sure how viable using scorpions for everything will be. And desert, yeah, desert cloth would also be nice. Or should I just go to Gilly? I don't know, peeps. So, so many things to unlock, so little coins. Oh my god, peeps! The odds! A super just happened! And the phoenix is next to my base. <laughs> I'm so sad that I can't tame this. Dude, that's crazy. I could literally tame this guy if we didn't have the restrictions. Because all I need is oil jars now that I know that he's here. Oh, I'm so sad. I can make a trap for him so easily. <sighs> all right. Well, hopefully that'll bring us good luck anyway. At least even spotting him. Well, peeps, I, um, appeared to be trapped, so I, uh, I was running over here because there's an explorer note here, yeah, it's, it's right there, and I wanted to grab it, but while I was up there, a dire wolf snuck up behind me and started biting me, and it knocked me down into whatever this is for. Yeah, you can see the explorer note I was going for, it's literally right there, and I'm like, stuck in a chimney now i i don't think i can get out of here well this sucks because i i, I don't think there's any way i could retrieve my wolf character or jaboa anymore oh no i might be able to recover at least parts of my inventory if i if i give our jaboa stuff and then throw him over the edge. I would really like all of this. I, I, everything else I could just easily get back, but I don't even think I could throw their Jerboa that far, but let's try it. Go. Oh, yes. Okay. Dead meat three has been freed at least. But um, as far as me, I think I am doomed. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I like, especially Leggy. How? I don't think. I, God, that really sucks, man. This is my highest level male wolf, so that sucks that I just am going to lose him. Also, I probably should have waited to do that because now I just have to, I guess, wait till I 
starve or dehydrate to death while I'm in here. Well, just what the heck? I mean, maybe I could do some shenanigans with building. This is all I have on me. So what if I do this? N nope, that doesn't work. Maybe I, can, I wonder if I can clip myself through the wall. That could be a thing, maybe. Here, let's try this. And then, and then this. No, that, uh, that absolutely does not work. Wait, there, there might, there might actually be hope. Hold on. Can I jump on this? Oh my god. Oh my god, wait. There might be a way for me to get out of here. Oh no. Come on. Yes? Okay, come on. No! Please, dude. Please, dude! I, I feel like this could work. But, I mean, I don't know. Like, how high can I build these up? <gasps> Pretty freaking high. Okay, hold on. Can I build it here? Oh. I can do one maybe over here? Oh, I don't know, peeps. I'm, I'm definitely gonna mess with this. I've got literally nothing better to do until I eventually starve to death. So, I mean, I might as well, right? Alright, so I, I use the dire wolf to dismount onto this first one. Then jump! I missed the jump. Back to the wolf. Jump to this one. Jump on this pillar. Go. Gotta make sure I don't hit my head. Oh! And then. Come on! Yes! Okay. I am free! <gasps> but. But Leggy! Leggy! <laughs> I, I don't. I mean. I don't even know how you could ever get him out. You would need, like, a cryopod. I don't know, Pete. I'm pretty proud that I was able to get out of that myself, though. Oh, but Leggy! Oh, dude, that's actually so painful. That's literally my best male wolf. Nazreen is quite shush, 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 Rockwell, shush. Alright, well, at least, uh, at least we can get out with dead meat. Oh. Alright. We've got more wolves breeding at the base, or I guess growing, but... Dang it. All right, one day we're gonna come back and rescue Leggy if he doesn't starve to death. We have to. Oh my god, dude, I'm so far away from the base right now. Alrighty, peeps. With that, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode. We've still got a long ways away before we can complete any of our quests. Technically, that Scorpion one is already done, but I have to wait for the deadline to actually get the rewards for that. And, uh... I remember that it's not 1,500 charcoal, it's 5,000. So, uh, we're <laughs> it's really far away from that as well. So, I might as well wrap it up here. That way this doesn't just drag on with me doing random side things. Ooh, I'm gonna go to that purple drop. All right, here we go. Let's see what this drop has for us. Whoa, lots of chili, some beer, and uh, some meat. Fair enough. All right. I'll see you peeps in the next one. Bye-bye. Ah, scorpion! Okay. Well, I, I hope... Hey! Oh, okay, well... No, it's not a high level. Get a candy cane! <laughs>